Before we begin, viewers' discretion is advised. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky will visit Washington on Wednesday if security allows. In his first overseas trip since the Russian invasion, the trip would mark the first time Mr. Zelensky has left Ukraine since Russia invaded on February 24. The visit has not yet been confirmed by Washington amid concerns over Zelensky's security. The Ukrainian president will also travel to the United States Capitol to meet congressional leadership and National Security Committee chiefs from the Republican and Democratic parties. According to Punchbowl News, he is also expected to address a joint session of Congress. The report added, earlier today, U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi said there would be a session of Congress tomorrow night which would have a very special focus on democracy. We are ending a very special session of the 117th Congress with legislation that makes progress for the American people as well as support for our democracy. Ms. Pelosi wrote on Tuesday in a letter to colleagues. Please be present for a very special focus on democracy Wednesday night. Volodymyr Zelensky has, almost daily, addressed various parliaments and international organizations by video and he has sent his wife to foreign capitals to drum up assistance against the Russian invasion. The visit comes a day after he made a daring and dangerous trip to what he called the hottest spot on the 808-mile front line. The city of Bakhmut in Ukraine's contested Donetsk province. In a video released by his office from the Bakhmut visit. Zelensky was handed a Ukrainian flag and alluded to delivering it to U.S. leaders. The guys handed over our beautiful Ukrainian flag with their signatures for us to pass on. Zelensky said in the video. We are not in an easy situation. The enemy is increasing its army. And our people are braver and need more powerful weapons. We will pass it on from the boys to the Congress. To the President of the United States. We are grateful for their support. But it is not enough. It is a hint, it is not enough. It comes as politicians are set to vote on a year-end spending package that includes about $45 billion in emergency assistance to Ukraine. As the US prepares to send Patriot surface-to-air missiles to the country to help stave off Russia's invasion. If you want to stay up to date on all things crime related make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button for new news daily.